Episode 80, Church History Summation. We began our study of the Christian church with Alexander the Great and the Greeks invading Egypt and Hellenism spreading to Israel and surrounding regions. They reigned from 300 BC to 30 BC. The Maccabees, who were Israelites, fought against the Greek rulers as their customs were to strictly follow the Torah. Then the Romans take over Egypt in 30 BC and invade Jerusalem, Judea, and many, many lands. The Romans built their culture on the Hellenistic Greek system. Israelites that remained in the lands were left with a few options. Stay and fight for their culture, leave the land, or stay and conform to the new foreign culture. And the Israelites that conformed to the foreign culture, Yesiah had to deal with them. And he left warnings in Matthew 16 and 6 to beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Israelites that stood for truth, culture, and fought to the end were Yesiah himself, who was murdered by the foreign culture of the Greeks and Romans. True followers of Yesiah and Yah, like Stephen, James, John, Peter, and other disciples, were also great examples of fighting for the truth in the culture, even with their own personal issues, until the very end. The Israelites who became Pharisees and Sadducees conformed to the foreign culture, but that's why Yesiah came and died to give them and all of us salvation and grace. Yesiah had come for us, the Israelites. Matthew 15, 24. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. In 70 AD, Titus and the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and many remaining Israelites. Israelites had to conform to the foreign power or else suffer grave consequences. Historians believe 6,000 Israelites, or really Judaites, were killed in 70 AD. And historian Josephus believed over a million Judaites were killed. The Romans take flight in the first century, and they never stop invading lands, stealing the wealth of the lands invaded, and fighting with whoever got in their way, in building a kingdom of power, land, wealth, and feudalism, or society classes. And what better way to get their agenda accomplished but through religion. So Christianity or the Roman Catholic Christian Church was the vehicle which spread from 70 AD to 300 AD to the Middle Ages and to the First and Second Great Awakening. And to today, Christianity spread. The teachings that benefited the Roman emperors spread. The teachings that benefited the papacy spread. The teachings that justified the start of wars spread. The teachings that justified slavery spread. The teachings that justified taxation and tithes spread. The teachings that benefited the Protestant movement spread. The teachings that justified owning and stealing land and riches spread. Not the teachings of Isaiah, not the teachings of the Old Testament prophets, and not the Torah. Men determined these religions, not the Most High. Doctrinal differences would start another denomination, which is why there are so many churches on every corner today. But the quality of lives being lived per the scripture is still at an all-time low. And the original Israelites and the Torah were intentionally excluded in the development of the Roman Catholic Christian Church, which birthed all these religions. It was intentional because of their agenda, which never included us nor the Torah. So what's the agenda of the church today? We know the black people taken from West Africa in the Atlantic slave trade were Israelites, and those brought to America were mostly Judaites from the tribe of Judah. Still today, the Christian church at large has still not acknowledged who we are when Deuteronomy 28 and 68 can't be refuted. And Yah shall bring thee into Egypt, symbolic of captivity, Again, with ships, black people are the descendants of Abana, Yiseka, and Yakuba, and of Yesiah. He's our big brother. The Christian church is still silent, but they're just following the same ways of the Roman Catholic Christian church that birthed all of them. No one will admit who we are. 
We are Shem. We are Israelites. We are Yisraelites, our Bantu name, before being called Israelites. Who sold us? Ham. Who bought us? Japhet and Esau. So we know who we are, and we believe many of them in the Christian church know who we are, but they refuse to admit it or speak on it. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So who is the synagogue of Satan? We know. Now ask yourself, how come the Christian church isn't speaking about who these pretenders of the synagogue of Satan are? We know they are rich and they don't look like us. We know they control pretty much everything. The church is quiet, without a doubt. We know who we are. Black people in the Atlantic slave trade or Yisraelites or Israelites. The curses in Deuteronomy 28 identifies who we are clearly. And just imagine if our children knew from birth they were and are the people of the Bible. When they read the Bible, little black boys and girls would know this is all about us and written by us, minus the countless unnecessary reiterations. In our study in these past 35 episodes of the history of the church, we conclude the Christian church today pretty much can be traced back to the Roman Catholic Christian church by the structure of the church buildings itself, the symbols inside and outside of the church, the different denominations and doctrines of men, tax exemption on billions of dollars, support of the pretenders, not acknowledging who the true Yisraelis are, massive riches and land ownership, heavily involved in politics and governments, and spreading partial truths. All these religions and stuff have been defined by man. When we can get alone with Yah to hear him for ourselves, but we have to make room to hear him. And when we hear him, we must obey. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other disciples answered and said, We ought to obey Yah rather than men. Thus, we sum up our study of the church to say again, We should obey Yah and not man. As we seek truth, please seek truth with us. Please send questions or comments to info at truthwars.com or come it here. We don't claim to know everything. We just seek the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that knows everything. Let truth roar. Let truth reign. Let truth speak. And let truth set you and your entire family free. Truth roars. Truth reigns. Truth speaks to sets me free please see a podcast disclaimer at truthwars.com